Uh, Declan's mother has said today that um, the, the way Declan had put, put away his school bag and his, his clothing um, was unusual and uh, seemed to her to indicate that he may, be going, may have gone somewhere rather than um, uh, leaving the house suddenly. Um, does that help your investigation at all? Uh, it's certainly a changed behaviour from what was the norm. Um, we haven't really established whether that is linked to his disappearance or um, or how that fits in. Um, and I guess that unless we get the opportunity to speak to Declan, that may be difficult for us to determine um, how or why that, that occurred, that his clothes were put away in that manner. How does the investigation go as time goes on? Does it make it harder for you to actually uh, find it? Uh, we have um, a significant number of tasks uh, for our detectives to uh, follow up on. So, But as time goes on, um, I, I guess the main thing is to keep keep people on the lookout for Declan, uh, keep his name out there. Um, you know, I know Mum is talking to the media, there's posters everywhere. Uh, most people we talk to have heard of Declan or, or know of Declan being missing. So, you know, that being out there gives us um, certainly more information coming in. Uh, are there any more searches planned for the rest of the week? Um, no, not at this stage. Um, I think to date also we've had about 130 sightings of Declan, but um, that's not confined to a small area there, over a broad broad area um, all around Australia. Are they being investigated? Uh, we follow up on every sighting um, and try and verify um, as best we can whether it was in fact Declan, um, and to date none of those checks have um, located him. Are all of those, I guess, honest, mistaken... Uh, signing? Oh, I don't think anyone's being, um, you know, trying to make it difficult for us. I, I mean, people um, see young boys who they believe may look like Declan. Um, most of the sightings are by people who don't know him, so they can't um, confidently say it is or isn't Declan. So that's why we have to conduct those inquiries around the sightings. His mum said he was talking a lot about travel and was very bored at school and, and, and you know, just, just wanted to travel. Um, there's no chance that he could have left the country, is there? Um, that would be unlikely, because I know um, Mum has his passport. Um, what new do you want to say to the public? It's three weeks on, I guess people are starting to uh, get on with their lives and think less about Declan. What would mm -hmm. you say to them? Um, we're just, I guess, appealing to the public, um, especially um, some of the younger people out there who know Declan, have had um, spent any time with him, to help us um, build up that, that last week before he we left because he may have said something uh, to someone it may seem an innocuous comment but in the context of all the other information we're gathering that may be the piece of information we need that may lead us in a specific direction to locate him. How are you working with his school to, um, in, in his investigation? Uh, the, the schools have been uh, very helpful in providing information, um, contact details for his friends, identifying who his friends are um, and also access for the investigators to any um, any of the school records or, or even access at times to um, speak to some of the students. Declan's mother Ruth obviously doesn't want to be asked um, this particular question, but how are they feeling? Do they have any hope at all that he's still alive? Um, I know, um, I spoke to mum just today and she is very hopeful that he's, obviously that he's still alive and still out there and believes that, um, that he he is still out there and maybe getting assistance from someone. Um, you know, we have said all along that, you know, we're looking at a range of things that may have happened to Declan and I know that the parents are aware of that but at this stage um, all their thoughts are that, that Declan has chosen to, to leave home and is still out there and they're hopeful that he comes back home. If you believe he's, you know, there's a possibility he's with someone, how helpful has his friends been towards you? Have they been withholding information, do you think? Um, we don't believe that um, any of his close friends are withholding any information um, and in fact many of them are as curious as we are as to where he may be. Is there an element of, uh, I guess, fear among the kids? Are you worried that there is certainly information that they, are you certain that they know information they're not telling you? Or? Oh, we can never be certain but um, I know that most of his close friends now are, um, I guess, initially they may have thought that you know, he's, he's just somewhere local in the area and, and maybe, you know, not wanting to come, come home for some reason. But um, I know a lot of the children we're talking to now or um, people are, I guess, um, concerned that we don't know where he is. I, I think they believe that by now he'd be home. So, um, but they've certainly been very helpful in providing as much information as 
they know to assist us in locating him. And what about his biological father? Has he sort of had any leads or anything like that as to where Declan could be? Um, no, not that I'm aware of. We've had some reports of um, shopkeepers saying that their kids going around town um, thinking it's funny to, to dress like Declan and pretend to be Declan. Um, is that something that's uh, annoying you and, 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 and here in the investigation? It's not something um, that's been prevalent that we've, you know, had people get out there knowingly sort of stating their name's Declan um, or that they're the missing person. Um, I'm aware of one instance um, which occurred locally and um, those people were spoken to fairly shortly after. So we'd, we don't have any real concerns if that that's happening. How, ex how extensive have your water searches been? Well, so I know there's a, a creek and it yeah, runs into um, the ocean. Yeah, we've had um, our search and rescue people along with um, SES do all the all the banks of the Barren River, Tomatoes Creek, um, Redden Creek, uh, all the areas around uh, Declan's home. So we're pretty confident that you know the searches we've conducted have been very extensive. Uh, have you got any crocodile traps out there in those areas? Um, not that I'm aware of, no. You've spoken in the past about Facebook being something that you've looked at. Are there any other websites that you've drawn your attention to? Um, n nothing in particular. I mean, we're, we're looking through, um, I guess, any sites that, that Declan may have access, just to see if there's any clues there, whether he's um, registered on any site under a different address or a different name. So there are inquiries we conduct, um, and ongoing inquiries. Have those inquiries so far found anything? And if so, and if not, sorry, um, when will you sort of finish up looking online? Um, we're continuing to, to maintain, I guess, our inquiries online because um, if Declan is out there at any time, he could get back online. So um, we have investigators continually um, assessing, um, I guess, online activities just in case we do come across something that may identify where he may be. There was mention, I, th I think, uh, about a week ago that he may have had one, more than one Facebook site. Is that odd? Um, not particularly, you know, I, I'm not all that au fait with Facebook, but um, I don't believe it's difficult to start a new account. Um, there, I'm aware that we've looked at a, a, a number of accounts, but um, some of those are not accounts that are being used. Why would you set up another account? I just don't understand that. I think a lot of people at home don't understand that. Yeah, I, I couldn't answer that. I, I guess that's something that only Declan could answer as to I know why. a lot of teenagers swap and change their names around as well with each other on Facebook. Is that something else you could be looking at as um, well? Not, in t not sure exactly what, what you mean oh, with okay. that. Um, certainly any contacts that he's had on Facebook, we're speaking to all of those, those yeah. people to see if, um, see if they have any information about where Declan may be. And what resources do you have um, involved in the investigation as of today? Um, I couldn't give you an, an exact head count, but um, certainly we have um, our local detectives um, and quite a number from Brisbane specialist units who are up here assisting as well. Is his mum just being hopeful and believing that he's alive? Do you believe he's alive? Um, as, we, as we've said at the outset, there are a number of um, things that um, could have happened. There may have been some misadventure where he's been injured. Um, he may still be out there. At this stage, we just don't have any particular evidence to identify, um, I guess, one way or the other. Do you still think it will be weeks um, that this investigation runs before it, all possibilities are exhausted? Well, certainly we're prepared to carry on for an extensive period of time to um, run out all our inquiries and exhaust, I guess, all of our, all of our options.